Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hi, my name is Paul, and this is Kaylee. Kaylee is 19 years old and uh, has been having some problems for the last month or so, correct? Yep. With pain in the calves uh, and into the into the medial side of the foot, and also pain in the plantar surface of the foot. Um, she runs track, all short distance stuff, so 50, 100 meter um, running, and uh, th this has been progressively getting worse. She tried some temporary orthotics that were pretty soft, and it didn't make much difference. And she's really had no other intervention for this. Um, so, in looking at her, you know, right when she comes in, the first thing we notice is that she has some pretty definitive callus on the medial side of the metatarsophalangeal joint and medial side of the toe right over here. A good indicator that she is developing foot pronation and as a result when she does that she toes off of these two points. Um, the other thing we notice is that she's developing a bunion at 19 years old. That's a pretty significant bunion. The reason that's happening is because when she her foot pronates she pushes the toe in like this and it puts an excessive strain on the um, medial side of the joint and it pulls it out and causes an exostosis and an instability of that joint. Therefore the toe starts to go into valgus as you can see right here. Okay, That's happening on both sides. Instead of the toe coming straight up it's going in. Okay, So the other thing we're looking at is her dorsiflexion. If we put her into full extension she doesn't dorsiflex much more than about neutral, okay, and that's one of the reasons why her foot goes into pronation when she um, um, when she walks and weight bears. When she does walk, she actually has a little external rotation to try to clear her foot because she doesn't dorsiflex very well. So one of the things um, we noticed is that she doesn't have a lot of palpable tenderness around this area. She gets a lot of calf tightness after she's running, and it's probably because her soleus is working really hard to control the heel because the soleus helps to control the heel kind of into a varus position and when the heel drops into valgus it eccentrically loads and therefore gets too much um, use eccentrically becomes engorged and, uh, and overused. So we're going to try to control her heel and control her arch so she doesn't collapse too much. Another thing I'd like you to look at is her ability to squat, her functional squat. So Kaylee, if I can have you right there facing the camera and I'd like you to give me your best squat. Okay, and back. So let's look at her feet. You'll notice that her feet pronate a little bit more. She likes to externally rotate the feet a little bit more just to clear. So go ahead and slowly squat again. And her calf tightness will cause that to go down. So one of the things we're going to do first of all is teach her how to stretch. So we'll do the one-legged slant board here. And she basically will lean forward and get a nice stretch over here. The other thing we can do is put a wedge on the medial side of the foot while she's stretching to try to keep her in more of a subtalar neutral position. Um, the stretch is held for 30 seconds and we do it five times on each side, four times a day. Um, okay, thanks Kelly. I'm going to have you sit back on the table if you would. Um, another way to support her foot is we can use... Um, a temporary orthotic like this and this one is pretty solid it has a nice little um, instep here and more importantly you need something that cups the heel so the heel doesn't rock too much um, or you can get into a custom made orthotic uh, like this that will support the heel and support the arch a little bit more um, and so those are options these are uh, a little more expensive a little less expensive but pretty solid so um, those are decisions you you sit down and talk to the patient about uh, on which one you're going to do um, the other thing that we're going to implement is a heavy glute strengthening program, glute medius and um, periformis, external rotator program like lateral band walking, lateral planks and those types of exercises that really um, cause the glutes to fire up like um, super skaters and try to get this muscle to contract more. If we can control the glute a little bit more, the knee doesn't collapse so far, the foot doesn't go into so much pronation, and therefore we don't have so much stress to the soleus. Thanks. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.